According to the weather for our uh, scouting days, you know, a couple of days ago, when we did all this driving around in the mountains looking for good spots to fly, but it was really cloudy and, you know, not like sort of patches of sun, but then the clouds would roll in and there was showers every now and again. So we could plot them as scouting days. And uh, now today, the, today and tomorrow were supposed to be the flying days. Uh, and today the weather is definitely not what it was supposed to be when, it, you know, a few days ago. It's, uh, it said it was going to be pretty clear today and tomorrow, but now it's changed and it's, it's kind of looking like it might be clearing up over there. But we keep seeing all these different clouds rolling in and then clear spots. And now the place I was thinking about flying up there has actually got a big giant cloud forming right in the middle of it. So I'm not sure. Maybe I could try flying up to that side of it instead. It's a little bit further than I was uh, thinking about flying today, though. But uh, yeah, I should actually just show you this uh, amazing view here. There's a bench someone's made here. So I'll just uh, take a seat on the bench. And we can look at this view. These ones we're looking in the distance here are all a little bit too far to fly from here. We definitely need to get a bit closer. This one over here ends up being more, more like five or six K depending where I'd fly it from. But uh, yeah, the campsite we were thinking of taking down there that had a great view of this one up here. That campsite uh, ended up being taken when we came back today. So we were looking for some other ones maybe. We found this big field that we saw someone's tent in here from when we were driving down the road over there. We saw a couple of tents pinched in this field and we found how to get to this field. And they're gone now. Looks like someone's done a little bit of work fixing this place up and making it, uh, making it a nice place. Yeah, they've done a bunch of setting up. It, including building this little house here, even with uh, like bottles on there so you can put your tarp up without it getting ripped. And a door. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Squirmsville. <laughs> I'll even left some cooking gear up there and, a, and a, a broom. You can actually see that like someone has probably actually swept this recently because there's, there's like not even grass blown in here. Curious what this was. A dish dishwasher? That's pretty lame. Throwing crap like that in the forest in the middle of nowhere. You'd go 40, 50 kilometers down the logging road and find dishwashers in the bushes. We're gonna continue on down the road a bit and see if uh I don't even remember. I've looked at so many places and mountains in the last few days that it's all kind of a blur. I'm going to go down and see what this uh, other place a bit further down is like. And if it's not better than uh, better than what we've already passed, if it's not better than trying to fly this one from across the road there, then uh, then I guess we'll come back for this one. But uh, so this is going to be my first flight today. Now, finally, the, the weather's cleared up a bit. We've moved on from that uh, sort of field field site with a weird little house set up. I'm gonna do this uh, this kind of easy closer one here. It makes a good first flight for the day. And it's not all that far away. <clears throat> it's not all that far away. And I think there might be some good uh, kind of like cinematic lines across the rocks and maybe some some good dives through the gullies. So anyways, this one I'm gonna use the uh, Falcon 7 setup. I've got 6S2P uh, 18650 packs on there. They're P26A cells. And uh, yeah, I've done finding the satellites and everything, so it's, it's all ready to take off.
a successful warm-up. Wasn't as interesting as I was hoping it would be flying up there. Everything's always so much different when you're getting the perspective of being there than from looking at it from kilometers away. But still, good enough for a warm-up flight. 